previously on the presidential zomboys. Damn it, Yamato. We couldn't save him. Rest easy, our friend. Your death will not be in vain. So, uh, how do we get out of here? Still no word from Dr. Monty. I'm not sure, but... Over there, a portal opened. About time, Dr. Monty. This portal, it's different than the usual ones we've gone through. Either way, we don't have a choice. Donald's right. Let's go, gentlemen. To secure Obama's soul. Seriously, Donnie, how did you take us to the one 7 in America that doesn't have ice cream? Hold on, the door won't open. Donald Trump, Joe Biden, Barack Obama, and George Bush. I've been waiting a long time for this. I've taken many different forms throughout your journey. But I've been watching you, waiting until the time was right. We're just trying to get some ice cream for our friends so we can go back home and shoot some zombies. Oh, you'll be shooting some zombies, all right. But I'm afraid you won't be going back home. Whoa, what on earth is that? It's headed straight for us. Ah! This place sure is creepy. Why would Dr. Monty bring us here? Are we dead? Are we alive? Where, where are we? Did you hear that? Look, over there. Is that us? Looks like it. We know what we have to do. Come on, Barry, let's make this quick. Is this some sort of sword art online experiment? How do I take off the VR headset? That didn't come from your headset. This is real life. What, what the, the fuck? fuck? This has got to be a dream. Guys, please wake me up. I don't think this is a dream, Joe. For once, I actually wish you were sleeping. Are these guys supposed to be us? Just who are you? And where is that guy from 7-Eleven? 7-Eleven? What is this me talking about? Must be some sort of 115-induced delusions. Yeah, this is some serious delusion, all right? Somebody must have laced my Cheetos. Nobody laced your Cheetos, fat ass. You're just probably in a diabetic coma from eating them all. And this is all just a figment of your imagination. I don't know, Barry. This seems pretty real to me. But if that's true, then who are these guys? Clones, past selves, future selves, alter egos, us from another dimension. This is unbelievable. Multiverse theory is real. Wait, does that mean time travel is real? Wait, if time travel is real, then we can go back to 9-11 and stop it. What's the first rule of time travel, dumbass? You can't interfere with the past. As much as I want to, we can't. Unless that's what these guys are doing. This other George is a fucking nerd. He sounds pretty smart to me. Nothing wrong with that. Guys, we're getting sidetracked. We know why we're here. You mean we're actually here for a reason? In that case, I'd really love an explanation. Well, you're here for a reason. I'm not sure why there's another Joe, Donald, and George, though. We'll take them out, too, if we have to. Wouldn't be the first time. Whoa, hold up. What do you mean, take us out? I knew it. We are going to die. E Barack Obama, I'm sorry, but you're here to fulfill a grand purpose. Your death will be quick. Whoa, whoa, are you sure this grand purpose really requires you to bust a cap in my ass? Trust me, if I knew I didn't have to, I wouldn't. This is for the good of everybody. We have a responsibility to the universe and we won't let anyone stand in our way of fulfilling it. Barack, stop what you're doing. This is not the other you you're looking for. Monty, about time we've been waiting to hear from you. But wait, this isn't the Obama we're looking for? Who the hell is he then? These are the presidential zomboys. The presidential zomboys? You mean from the first dimension? What are you guys talking about? Who are you guys talking to? Does this mean you're not gonna kill me? You all must come to the house. The other four can't hear me yet, but you absolutely must not stay there. I will try and open a portal at your location. Hang tight. All right, you four. Sorry about the misunderstanding earlier, but you have to come with us. We're not entirely sure what's going on, but we can't stay here. Well, I'm guessing we don't really have a choice, do we? Listen, I don't care where we go, just get us off this dark shore. And just where do you think you're going? Ah! Who the hell said that? Finally, I have you all in one place, completely defenseless. Vengeance will be mine at last. You don't know how long I've waited for this day. Presidential Zomboys. Uh, are you talking about us or them, we have no clue who you are. You four are the targets of my vengeance. 
but it was quite the stroke of luck to find these other four pawns. Through them, I will be able to exact my revenge on the one who I hate the most. Yes, I will finally rid the multiverse of- The portal is open. Hurry, gentlemen. Escape while you can. Quick, into the portal, everybody. Well, guys, it's now or never. Into the portal. Man, Michelle is gonna be so pissed. Oh, no, you don't. I will not be denied my revenge. Take this! You fools will never reach the house. I hope you enjoy the hells that await you. What the? Where are we? Something's gone wrong. This isn't the house. You think it was something that creepy dude back there did? Dr. Monty said we were supposed to meet him. Whoa there, slow down. Dr. Monty, the house, are you all high? Now is not the time to be talking about a call of duty. Trust me, Brock, I wish I was high right now. Unfortunately, this is all happening. Dr. Monty, the house, element 115. Across the multiverse, it all exists, and you have been dragged into it. Holy shit, look around us, Barack. I think they're telling the truth. No way, this is Gorod. Stalingrad, the city of blood. This was supposed to be our next stop, but that means he must be here. Hold on, where's Donald and Joe? I'm right, neither of the two Donalds or Joes are here. This cannot be happening. Our friends, will they be okay? I can't say for sure, but chances are they're still alive. They may not look like it, but our Joe and Donald are veterans of the craziness that is unfolding around us. They've both been through a lot. If your friends are with them, then they're in good hands. I pray that you're right. So now what, we're just stranded in this nightmare? I mean, we were just having a normal sleepover, went to get some ice cream for Joe, and then some weirdo behind the counter starts mumbling about waiting a long time and us killing zombies. There's nothing normal about four grown adults having a sleepover just saying, but to your point, that guy didn't look or seem familiar, yet he seemed motivated by revenge against us. This is confusing as fuck. Let's hope Monty can make contact soon. And gentlemen, you may want to arm yourselves. I don't think we're alone here. You're right about that. You aren't alone. What the, who the hell said that? Show yourself. Look over there, across the fence. I'll be the one asking the questions around here. Your sudden appearance in this city, my city, under any other circumstances, I'd say it's impossible. But with the way the rest of today has been going, I'm not surprised one bit. No way, this is impossible. You're Barack Obama. Hmm, now that's a name I haven't heard in a long time. What are you, ghosts of my past, here to haunt me? Well, this just got a whole lot weirder. No, Barack, we're nothing like that. I'd love to explain, but things are complicated enough as it is. However, we do need your help. My help? I don't believe you four are in the position to make demands of me. And if you're going to speak to me, then at least get my name right. It's Hussein. All right, uh, Hussein. The truth is we're not from this reality. The multiverse is fractured and broken, but you can help us fix it. You sound just like my George. Very well, but you have to do something for me first. See, my mech here is out of juice, and I don't know if you've noticed, but the city is under attack by all sorts of creatures. Find me a replacement power core. Help me stop this otherworldly invasion, and I'll do what I can to help you. Do we have a deal? I don't think we have much of a choice here, guys, but uh, I'm not too thrilled about taking on otherworldly horrors. We do it on a daily basis. If I can do it, then so can you, George. You've got yourself a deal. We'll get you that power core. Very well. Head to the command center. There you'll be able to restore power to the headquarters and meet up with an associate of mine. Oh, and one more thing. If you even think about crossing me, I will personally end you and bathe in your blood. Message received. Guess we ought to get a move on, guys. The sooner we can go home, the better. All right, let's move. So this is it, huh? Gorod Krovi, and as if two of me wasn't weird enough, a third one appeared. Well, on the bright side, Barack, we did do this Easter egg a few months ago. We know this map like the back of our hands. We're not here to sightsee you two. Let's make our way to the Dragon Command. Well, excuse us for not being versed in multiversal travel. I mean, for Christ's sake, look. A fucking dragon just flew by. 
Eh, you get used to it. Oh shit, George, did you crash this plane? Shut, Shut up. up. Look at this. I don't know what kind of defenses uh, Hussein has around here, but they managed to take out a fucking dragon. Man, this is just like Horde of the Dragon Queen. I remember my first time taking out Tiamat. It's so insane to see a real life dragon like this. What the fuck is a Tiamat? Is that some sort of custom zombies boss? No, man. It's a D&D &D campaign. You haven't heard of that one? D&D &D, as in Dungeons and Dragons? I think I'm gonna be sick. You really are a nerd. Well, unfortunately, these dragons are more than just one of your tabletop games, George 2. This is real life. Now, hold on. Why am I George 2? Obviously, because I'm number one. Whatever. Ooh, I've always wanted to find out what a gobble gum tasted like. Okay, never mind, I guess. I straight up got nothing. Normally, I'm not a gobble gum nooblet, but desperate times call for desperate measures. Not bad, but which gum was that again? I can't tell. Oh shit, it was on the house. Oh shit, nice Barack. Well, I guess we got a perk. I don't feel any different though. But George, holy shit, you got electric cherry. It's a good thing too, because I hear those flesh-eating bastards nearby. Get ready to fight for your lives, you two. Time to see what you guys are made of. Don't hold us back now. Oh shit, there really are zombies. Take this, you freak bag. I did it, I actually killed one. There's plenty more where that came from. Don't let your guard down. Out of my face, you undead fuck. Guess my military training is finally paying off. Nice to finally have another military guy around. Although, to be honest, I skipped out on drill a lot during my time in the National Guard. They even made a big fuss about it when I was running for re-election. Wait, you could do that? Isn't that like going AWOL or something? Well, nobody seemed to care at the time. A guy like me deserved a break every now and then. It's great that you two are getting along so well, but we should probably get out of here. Hussein said we have to meet an associate of his, and he doesn't seem like the kind of guy to piss off. True that. Let's look around for anything that could be of use while we're at it. I don't think anyone's going to be doing any shopping around here anytime soon. Yeah, this place has certainly seen better days. Make sure to stay strapped around these parts, boys. Who knows what else this commie hellhole could have in store for us. No point buying some garbage off the wall when we're so close to the real firepower. You two sound way too used to all of this. Just what have you been through exactly? How long do you have? I mean, our current mission has been to hop from one dimension to the other, killing alternate versions of ourselves that posed a threat to the multiverse. Donald was first, then me, and just a while ago, Joe. Not to mention I got tortured at the hands of Division 9. Whoa, the only foreign hostility I've ever faced was that dude throwing his shoes at me. Glad you're still alive, me. It's the mystery box, it's really real. Please let me get the ray gun Mark III. Monkey bombs, really? Not even a gun? Let me try. No fucking way. I can't believe I'm holding a real life wonder weapon in my hands right now. I think I'm gonna bust. Please don't. And of course, the dude with the least experience here got the wonder weapon. Might as well be Joe using it. I mean, he is Sleepy George. Shut up, Barack, you're just jealous. All right, enough with the petty squabbles. I think we're sufficiently armed to protect ourselves for a while. Let's move out. So this Hussein guy, do you trust him? He seems kind of angry. Not really, but getting close to him is necessary to secure his soul inside the summoning key. Thankfully, Yamato gave it to me back on Zetsubu and not Donald. Who's Yamato? A good man and an American hero. Anyways, now that power's on, maybe we'll get some answers. So is this Sophia? Systems operational. Bill! Am I going crazy or did she just say Bill? No way, this is impossible. It really is you. Hillary, you bitch! Greetings, I am Hillary. You are not Bill Clinton. Security codes are required for further interaction. I don't understand, how is this possible? We've dealt with Hillary before. She's an evil, manipulative cretin who at one point ruled over the ether itself. Hillary in control of the ether, now that's a scary thought. And you guys managed to defeat her? Barely, we nearly lost Donald in the process, but we did it. She's supposed to be dead though. I mean, if there's other versions of us in the multiverse, it'd be safe to assume there'd be another Hillary, right? Good point, this one appears to be some sort of artificial intelligence, just like Sophia and Gorod Krovi. Makes you wonder how exactly Treyarch made their games so similar to stuff that is actually happening. I mean, first rule of multiverse theory, there are an infinite number of realities where anything can happen. So by that logic, this makes total sense. George, this makes absolutely zero sense, and you know it. You're just trying to impress your other self by seeming smart. For the record, it's not working. This guy is cringe. 
The only way you could impress me is if somehow in your universe you prevented 9-11. Are you four done wasting my time? All oh, right, sorry, Hill Dog. You see, uh, Hussein told us you could help us. I am not familiar with this, Hussein. Records indicate my sole function is to listen to Bill. Are you familiar with him? Oh, we're familiar with that snake, all right. He's not here, though, so you better listen to us. This request has been denied. Well, that's just great. Now what? Let me speak to whichever of you is in charge. Uh, hello? Can you hear me? Of course I can. And now that power has been restored to the facility, I can communicate with you freely. I hate to break it to you, but your associate is acting haywire. She's acting like she doesn't know you. Hmm. It appears during the outage, her memory banks must have corrupted. The access codes will be required to regain her trust. I take it you know what I'm speaking of? Yeah, I think we do, but just what is she? How did this Hillary come to be? Well, if you must know, this world, it wasn't always like this. There was a time before the apocalypse, when things were peaceful. After a nuclear war broke out between nations, things changed forever. There were few survivors. Out of the surviving US presidents, only myself and Bill Clinton remained. Putin, the main aggressor in the war, perished. There were no nations remaining, no governments. We had to leave what used to be the United States, and we made our way to Russia. The people didn't blame us for the catastrophe and chose me as the new president of the remaining world. Bill was smart, but weak. He couldn't survive without Hillary. And thus, he built the machine before you, an artificial intelligence based off of her. Bill passed away not long ago, and Hillary here has been repurposed into a supercomputer capable of surveying the city, deploying our weapon systems, and even conducting research on ways to rebuild this Earth. She's my eyes and ears, but her code has been tough to crack. She still holds sympathies for Bill, and it's been difficult to get her to always cooperate. Just do what she says. If anyone can get us a replacement power core, it'll be her. All right, we'll get right on that, Hussein. Well, this place seems pretty fucking depressing. No kidding, no wonder this guy ended up the way he did. Yeah, I'd be in a pretty bad mood too if there were dragons trying to eat me. The dragons arrived a couple months ago from a rift that opened above the city. Suffice to say, our cobbled together military hasn't done the best to fend them off. They've multiplied since the initial few showed up. However, there were successful attempts by Bill to tame the creatures, use the modules to collect the pieces of the dragon controller. No way. This will be just like how to train your dragon, but actually cool. Well, I'd rather train a dragon in real life than roll some stupid little 25-sided dice and pretend. Also, I got the PPSH. Let's go. Um, actually, it's 20 sides. Well, um, actually, I don't give a fuck, nerd. Is this guy really me? Jeez, your George is ruthless. He's got a soft side to him, too. Don't let old Georgie bully you. Oh, trust me, he doesn't scare me. Also found one of those cylinder things. Let's call in the module. McConnell module incoming. Hold up, did she say McConnell? Seems like Mitch was up to no good in this universe, too. I guess we got lucky in ours that he's just an old harmless turtle. This just keeps getting weirder and weirder by the minute. Why are US politics and the events of COD zombies so intertwined? Well, that's what we want to know, too. Unfortunately, Monty hasn't explained any of that yet. He's been pretty ambiguous about a lot of stuff, including you guys. I'm still in awe that Dr. Monty actually exists. And are we supposed to be important or something? I assumed we just got roped into all of this by accident. I mean, you being here definitely wasn't intentional, but Dr. Monty has a boner for your dimension. Apparently yours is like the first ever universe in existence, predating the multiverse. That's why keeping you guys safe is so important. Well, that sounds like a big deal to me. Our universe seems so Mundane, though. I mean, nothing this crazy has ever happened as far as I can tell. That's a good thing, Barack. I'd kill for the peace you all have back home. I haven't seen my Laura in God knows how long now. Speaking of wives, I hope ours are okay. That weirdo at the 7-Eleven better not have done anything to them. Either way, Michelle has got to be worried about us. Definitely. I'd do anything to hear her voice right now. Hell, she could nag at me for hours if she wanted. I wouldn't mind. Don't worry, Barry. We'll get you guys home, I promise. I can't imagine another Michelle going through any kind of pain. Another Michelle? Are you saying that yours is... No, not mine, thankfully. But there was an incident a while ago where we unwittingly doomed an entire universe, wiping out all of its inhabitants. The blame falls squarely on the Clintons, though, those megalomaniacs. Anyways, built the shield down below. Better grab one to protect your keister. 
That's rough. I can't imagine that kind of guilt. The kind of stuff we deal with on a daily basis is pretty minuscule, like when Donnie broke your copy of Smash Brothers, Barry. That motherfucker still owes me for that. Thanks for reminding me, George. We should all go get Jug. It'll definitely come in handy. Makes you feel big and strong. Yeah, we know how it works. Though I'm curious what it'll do to us in real life. Down the hatch. Oh. Now that was downright putrid. Tastes like expired eggnog mixed with phosphoric acid. Yeah, but it definitely gives you thicker skin, literally. The zombies hit a lot less harder with juggernog inside you. Fuck, these Russian manglers are scary. I don't want to be on the receiving end of their arm cannon. My Barry here knows a lot about being on the receiving end, if you know what I mean. George, not another word out of you. Let's just bring the second code cylinder to the supply depot. Fire zombies, watch out, guys. I'm sure Donald would say something cheesy like, you're fired right about now. So you're friends with Donald Trump as well? I must admit I miss him. As different as we were, he was my friend. Man, I feel bad for this me. Losing his friends, his family, and his country. Can't be an easy thing to go through. I mean, this isn't even his dimension. Not sure if he's just gone mad, but every other version of us has been a refugee in another universe. That's the reason we have to take them out. They're causing an instability in the fabric of reality. Well, that explains why you wanted to waste our Barack. But this guy seems like he's been here for a long time. You sure it's the right Obama and you're not making another mistake? It's got to be him. We've been to the giant, Der Eisendrak, and Zetsubu. Gorod is next. Besides, I know for a fact that the Obama we're looking for is in Stalingrad. This is our guy. Time works differently across dimensions. Maybe he has been here for a while. I'm sure we'll get answers soon enough. Anyways, we got the next piece. Just one more and we can hopefully head to pack a punch. Hey, me, is that the ray gun I see? Barack, what do you think? Should we let this handsome guy be an honorary member of the ray gun boys? I mean, if he's got the ray gun, then yeah, he can join. Bet, ray gun boys for life. You catch on quick, George. Anyways, let's not dilly-dally. Gotta head to the tank factory. All right, here's the last McConnell module. Let's go protect it and get that last piece. Man, the ray gun Mark III goes so hard. Maybe I can sneak this back to our world. The US military could probably disassemble and recreate it. Probably not. Every time we teleport, we lose whatever weapons we had previously. Safe to say, that thing is staying here. Now let's go get that dragon controller. There we go. Time to go ride a dragon. God, I'm so fucking excited. Just don't cream your pants, George. All right, calling the dragon. George two, you can have the honors of hopping on first. Holy shit. This is really happening, isn't it? I'm about to ride a real dragon. Man, Donald is never gonna call me a nerd again after I tell him about this. Hop on, everyone. Even I gotta admit, this is gonna be awesome. All right, George, better take it all in. I'm sure this is gonna be a lot like when you lost your virginity. It's gonna be way better. Why, because riding the dragon is going to happen more than once? Georgie, I wouldn't knock your alternate about his bedroom habits. I remember you sharing a very interesting story about yours when we were locked in that closet in Call of the Dead. Barack, I told you that in confidence under the assumption we were going to die, so stop talking. That was one of the best things I've ever experienced in my life. Well, I'm glad some good has come out of this multiverse of madness. Now let's hope we live to tell the tale. So I guess we'll have to acquire the Dragon Strike controller, which means doing the lockdown step. Shit, now what? There's some sort of blue glow enveloping the area. I think it's those annoying ass Valkyrie drones Time to put this packed gun to use. I see you've encountered my creations. The Valkyrie drones were designed to protect the city. And seeing as how you four are foreign hostiles in their eyes, they will try to exterminate you. What a surprise. Punished Obama over here is responsible for the drones. It seems in every universe, Obama thinks drones are the answer to life's problems. I mean, I've yet to run into an issue a good, well-placed drone strike didn't solve. Amen to that, brother. They just keep coming. And they don't stop coming, fed to the rules, and I hit the ground running. Ah, rest in peace, Steve Harwell. Wait, the dude from Smash Mouth died when? It's been a couple months now. Just how long exactly have you guys been on your little quest? I'm not sure to be honest. When you're constantly jumping through hoops, literally and metaphorically, it gets hard to keep track of time. I mean, it's been at least a few months since the whole incident with Willard Weiler. After that, we got a little break from the madness before Hillary tried to get her revenge. I'm sorry, but did you say Willard Weiler, as in the dude from Infinite Warfare Zombies? Yeah, we kind of got trapped in his films and had to fight to save our souls. But that's neither here nor there. Let's start this lockdown so we can get the Dragon Strike. 
Hostile forces approaching, initiating lockdown sequence. Eyes front, gentlemen. Thankfully, this isn't our first experience with lockdowns, thanks to Donald and his mismanaging of COVID. I'm hopping on the MG42. Time to tear these undead maggot addicts to shreds. That's it, George, don't let them pass. I can't believe I'm saying this, but this is the most excitement I've had in my life since being president. Speaking of being president, since us and Joe are technically missing right now, wouldn't that make Kamala acting president right now? I've never really thought about it, but I guess that's the case back home right now, too. I mean, we did meet a Kamala, but it was before she was even sworn in as VP. Kamala as president. Now that's a scary thought, and all the more reason for us to get the hell home as soon as possible. Good evening, I'm Jessica Taylor with SHRB News, and tonight we bring to you a serious matter of national security. The President of the United States, Joe Biden, has gone missing. Along with him, missing are the three former U.S. presidents, Donald Trump, Barack Obama, and George W. Bush. Nothing is currently known about their whereabouts, and officials have yet to reveal if they suspect foul play. Now, as most of you at home know, I'm not one to get into the whole conspiracy thing, but the President of the United States and the three former presidents all going missing at the same time? It makes me pretty worried. But hopefully tonight some of that worry can be put to rest, because I'm just receiving word that we have coming live from outside the White House. We have acting President Kamala Harris. Citizens of the United States, it has been almost 10 days since our president went missing. We have spared no expense in this search and we are using every resource we have available to try and track down not only President Biden, but our three former presidents. We ask that you, the people, maintain calm and go about your regular lives while we continue to search for the president. In the meantime, I will assume the role of president to be given up immediately upon the location of President Biden. I know this might be controversial, but we are in dire times, and as vice president, I am standing up to take the reins for all of you. Thank you for your time, and God bless America. Finally, that's over. All this fake crying over Joe going missing is exhausting. But now I am the president. I've waited long enough for this. It's my turn. President Harris, Madam President, Task Force 141 are ready for orders. We can have them on a plane heading wherever you need within the hour. Where shall we send them, Madam President? I'm afraid that won't be necessary, Agent Hughes. Effective immediately, we are pulling all operatives currently searching for President Biden. Call them all off? Surely you can't be serious. We have a duty to protect the president. And tell me, who is the current president of the United States, Agent Hughes? Forgive me, that would be you, of course, Madam President. But you said it yourself. Your presidency is to be relinquished upon President Biden's safe return. Well then, it sounds like you better make sure that President Biden's safe return doesn't happen. I don't care what you have to do, but you will make sure that those four are never found. I will be president. Uh, yes, Madam President, as you wish. All right, lockdown complete. Now we can add a new weapon to our arsenal. Now this is something I wish I had back home. Imagine all those Middle Eastern civvies running in terror as a dragon breathes fire upon them. Now you're speaking my language. Who knew I had so much in common with myself? Well, we definitely get along better than our Georges, that's for sure. Here comes the dragon egg. We'll need the gauntlet of Siegfried to complete our mission. Oh, gross. I hate that the only way back to spawn is through dirty sewer water. I'm gonna have to take 10 baths when I get home. Still, I shot the switch for the frothing toilet trophy. All right, place down the dragon egg, and then let's wait for the big dragon to come breathe fire on it. There it is. Now we just gotta wait a bit for the egg to cool off, then we kill some fire zombies. Watch your back, me. Thanks, handsome. So, uh, Barry, what was it like being inside of Zombies in Spaceland? That's probably the best non-Treyarch Zombies map, and I love a good amusement park. Well, unfortunately, that's the one Willard Wyler movie we didn't get to go inside of. We started with Rave in the Redwoods. Oh, bummer. I bet Joe was scared shitless of the slasher. Well, that's the other thing. The Joe that was with us wasn't really Joe. It was some demonic imposter. He used Willard Wyler to get to us and then tricked us into killing Wyler in cold blood. Not one of my proudest moments looking back. Geez, that's fucking dark. Especially considering the guy who played Willard Wyler in Infinite Warfare died a while back. 
damn rip to him, I guess. Anyways, I think we got enough napalm zombie kills now to get penetrating multi-kills. I knew keeping a sniper as my mule kick gun was a good idea. Rare mule kick W? Also just got myself the L4 Siege. Oh, the explosive mayhem I'm going to cause with this beauty. There we go, that should be enough. Now on to melee kills. This'll be easy. Wish we had an insta-kill or something so I didn't have to break my shield for this though. It's not a big deal, just go grab a new one. At least this isn't B04 where it costs money to get a new shield. I think that's all of them. Now we gotta bring the egg back to the house to incubate it. Yeah, let's ride from Supply Depot, then Tank Factory later so we can get the Dragon Wings. Those will come in handy. I'd do anything to hear our Joe right now asking if we're talking about chicken wings. He's a goofy bastard, but he's our goofy bastard, damn it. Incubating the egg. We just gotta wait a while now. What the? I'm trapped up here. Chill, dude. There's a hole by the toilet you can fall through. And grab the shit-soaked trophy while you're at it. Great. Now I'm going to need to take 100 baths when I get home. Fucking gross. Guys, look. The Valkyrie drone shocked the AC thingy. We gotta go look for the code cylinder. Pretty sure it's on a timer, too. Let's put the dragon egg on hold for now. Damn, this step was always so confusing. How are we gonna solve it without a no-nonsense guide? Simple. We use the Cronorium. As in the Cronorium.com, but we don't have cell phone service. Not exactly. You see, back when we were at Dare Eisen, I noticed the Cronorium just sitting on a table, unguarded. And a book with unlimited knowledge on all known and unknown universes seemed pretty useful. So when nobody was looking, I grabbed it. I didn't want Monty knowing about it either. I think it'll hold the answers we seek. Wow, Barack, you really kept something that important a secret from the rest of us? Who cares? A magic book seems pretty useful right now. Does it say anything about getting us out of here? Not exactly. It seems like the pages are being written as we go along. It does mention the valve step, so let's set them to their proper numbers. Let's hope this actually works. I mean, if the website made by that British toothpick, Mr. Awful Waffles, can give us the answer, I'm pretty sure the actual book that has infinite wisdom can, too. Actually, Milo has gotten pretty swole since he started hitting the gym. I'd watch your mouth, Barry. That worked. I got the code cylinder. Let's return to Hillary. All right, Hillary, time to enter the code. OK, so the code is Kronos, right? Yeah, pretty sure. Let's see. Password denied. Huh? Did you spell it wrong or something? Yeah, it's spelled with a K, not a C. I know that. I'm telling you it's not working. I'm sane here. Looks like you all are having a bit of trouble over there, damn amateurs. Wow, did you call us just to insult our intelligence, or are you going to help us out any? Bill never told me his password, but he always said in case I needed to bypass Hillary's security protocols, that it was something close to his heart, whatever that means. Hope that's enough to go off of. Gee, real big help this guy is. Well, let's think for a minute. What kind of things does Bill Clinton love? Surely he didn't make the password Hillary. Password denied. Of course not. The Bill we know was an evil, traitorous son of a bitch before Dr. Monty removed his free will. Maybe try Shadow Man? He was a servant to the Apothecons, after all. Password denied. Damn it. We're going to be at this all day if we don't figure this out soon. Not to mention more zombies will likely be swarming the place again. Let me try something. Password accepted. Wait, how? What was the password? Well, I thought of the one thing Bill might have loved more than his wife, Monica. Wow, I'm impressed. That intellect of yours is actually coming in handy. So, Hillary, can you tell us how to get a power core? You have done well to bypass my security measures. However, I require further convincing. Bring me the trophies and I will test you further. Damn it. Well, just do as she says. I assume you all know what this entails. Unfortunately so. Man, I sure hope Joe and Donald are having a smoother time than we are. I can already imagine both Donald's massive egos clashing with one another. You know, Donnie, I gotta say, although it's not nearly as good as mine, you got some pretty nice hair. Thanks, Donald. Although anyone with eyes can see that my hair is leagues better than that wet raccoon on your head. Hey, whose hair are you calling a wet raccoon, you fucking Cheeto? Bitch, please! If I'm a Cheeto, you're the whole damn bag. You pumpkin, you look like a big round-ass pumpkin. You look like a giant bowling ball. Can't miss a strike with the Donald ball. He takes up the whole lane. I well, this takes self-deprecating humor to a new level. No kidding. Yeah, say, right. what's it's your favorite you ice cream flavor? You? Chocolate, chocolate, chocolate don't, chip. Don't you? Well, of course it's chocolate, chocolate, chocolate chip, too. Hell yeah. All right, so we just got to find those six trophies for the challenges, right? That's right, George. I shot the one down from the statue. Now I'm going to go drone, I mean dragon, strike the puddle. Everyone meet at the tank factory dragon so we can get our wings and grab the egg. Everyone on. I can't believe I'm going to get my very own badass baby dragon. 
grab the egg, let's head back to the fountain and get the gauntlet of Siegfried. Even I gotta admit, this is gonna be epic. Also, we can get the locker open with one of the trophies inside now. Let's try this out. All right, little buddy, go fly around while Papa opens the safe. I'll take that. Just a couple more now, I think. I think all that's left now is the robot eye laser trap one. And there's the last trophy. Now to assemble them all at Dragon Command. Well done. Perhaps I was wrong to judge you so quickly earlier. After all, you are me. All right, all the trophies are here. Now comes the fun part. And by fun, I mean fucking miserable. Just be lucky Joe's not here. Otherwise, we'd really be screwed. Let's get to it, I guess. An enemy prototype has been discovered on base. Bring it to me for further analysis, quickly. Look out for a mangler with green eyes, everyone. Found him. Follow me, you big, ugly bitch. We'll keep the zombies off you. He's almost to his destination. Here he comes. Specimen procured. Research on the hostile life form will begin immediately. Good. Perhaps if we can find out more about these manglers, we can use them for our own army. OK, what's next? It's the drop pod. Everyone head to Supply Depot. Good thing I've got the Mark III. This will be a cakewalk. Yeah, the L4 siege is really useful here, too. It seems our affinity for blowing shit up is shared across universes. I think we're done. Secure the interdimensional cargo that the pod was holding. Go get it, little buddy. All right, back to Hillary. What's the next menial task you have for us? A malfunctioning Valkyrie drone has been found nearby. Bring it back here so we may study the cause of this and remedy the issue in future drones created. There it is. Come on, little guy. You can't quite drone strike people if you're not working right. Don't let it get destroyed, unlike the Middle East stability. Ah, classic moment in our presidency. Look here. The wings that'll surely lead us to redemption. Now we can just fly over to Pack-a-Punch ourselves. Man, Michelle is never going to believe any of this. I hope she's doing OK. I'm so sorry, Barack. I'm sorry I ever gave you grief for spending time with your friends. I'd let you have all the time you want with them if I could just have another day with you. I never even got to thank George for his beautiful painting. You were always one of my dearest friends. I hope wherever you are, you're keeping Barack and the others safe. And I pray you all come back to us. I love you, Barack Obama. And I will never give up on you. All right, Hillary, we've done everything you've asked. Diffused your bombs, brought you your Valkyrie drone and your rogue mangler. Can you tell us where to get a power core now? Yeah, that bomb defusal took about 10 years off my lifespan. I've never been more worried about fucking something up in my life. Negative. There's a far more pressing matter at hand. An otherworldly anomaly has been scanned in the area. Bring it to me. What's the big deal? I mean, we're otherworldly anomalies too. No, this one is different. I sense some familiarity with it. Locate it at once. Guess we don't have a choice. Everyone keep your eyes open for it. OK, if I was an anomaly, where would I be? Not seeing anything over on this side of the map. This must be the anomaly. Let's get you back to Dragon Command. Well, 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 if it isn't the presidential zomboys. <laughs> Wait a second, that voice. It can't be. Oh, but it is. I bet you never thought you'd see me again, did you, Barack? Wait, what's going on here? I'm back, George, that's what. <laughs> Wait a second, you're not George. Oh, I'm George, all right, but who the hell are you? Bill Clinton, how can this be? You're supposed to be in the house with Dr. Monty. Bill Clinton's alive, but that can't be. I always come back. <laughs> Different Bill than yours, Hussein. We know this guy. Tell us how you're here, or we'll destroy you. Oh, this is just too perfect. Three Obamas and two George Bushes. That fool Monty thought expelling my soul from my body would be enough to keep me away. I have traveled for eons across countless dimensions to get my revenge, and I have finally made it. <laughs> After I kill you, Donald is next. Uh, he can't actually kill us, can he? Bill, my beloved, is it really you? Join me at Dragon Command. Together we can destroy these fools. Well, that's not good. Hussein, can you stop her? She's programmed to take orders from Bill Clinton first and foremost. Damn it, we're out of options here. Hillary is here too? I have missed you, my dear. Talk about my lucky day. I will join you at once. Let's destroy these presidential zomboys. I have waited since Alcatraz for this day. Fuck, Bill, we won't let you stop us here. And Hillary, you bitch, we've defeated you before. We can do it again. 
It is over for you fools. Say goodbye to your precious lives. <laughs> Shit. Well, this isn't good. What do we do? Wait, what's going on? Did you really think I would let you destroy my subordinates here? Who are you calling a subordinate? I mean, at least she didn't call us slaves. Anomaly secured. Do not worry, Bill. This will only hurt a lot. Ah! Wow, Hillary, you actually saved us. Thanks a lot. I did this for myself. I knew that this was not the Bill Clinton who designed me. I will keep him contained for the time being while I conduct further analysis. I have one final task for you. It's something more personal. What is it, Hillary? Yeah, after saving us from that creep Bill Clinton, we definitely owe you one. As indicated by the one you have been in contact with, known as Hussein, my memory banks have been corrupted. I don't remember much aside from my creator, Bill. I do not know what happened to him. A backup of my memory can be downloaded, but I need you four to go and physically do it. Help me, please. Enough games, Hillary. Give them the damn power core before I have you scrapped for parts. Now hold on, dude. Hillary has been pretty helpful thus far. We can do this one thing for her. She doesn't need her memories. She just needs to obey me. I've had enough of you. I don't care if you're me or not, but when someone helps you, you help them back. What do we need to do, Hillary? Head back to the house where the Pack-A-Punch machine is located. On the first floor, you will find a machine. Insert this hard drive inside to download the data. My memories will be stored inside. All right, easy enough. Come on, boys, let's fly. Wow, that was awesome. I actually flew through the air. I really wish we got to keep the dragon wings. I don't think Laura would approve of giant scaly wings on your back. Knowing her, she's probably come up with a million theories as to where we are right now. I just don't understand who would do such a thing, kidnapping the president, let alone him and three others. I mean, who could even be capable of something like this? Right, it must have been some foreign government. It's not like they could have just run off and disappeared. The Secret Service would have found them by now. Well, I don't know if I trust in the Secret Service's ability to locate them. Ever since President Harris gave that speech a few days ago, they've stopped giving me updates. Don't they know the longer they're missing, the lower the chances of them being found are? I know it's tough, but the best thing we can do right now is trust that they are working diligently on bringing our men home. We cannot give up on them. I'm not saying we give up on them. I'm questioning how hard President Harris is really looking for them. Don't you think it's a little coincidental that she became president right after Joe was kidnapped? I don't know, Laura. She was the vice president. It only makes sense for her to assume the role at a time like this. Of course, it's not the fact that she's become president that worries me so. It's the fact that she became president after my George and the others mysteriously disappeared with absolutely no trace. I think something is fishy, and you should too. They were last seen in your house, for that matter. We don't know they were even there when they went missing. The car was gone, and so were their shoes. Oh, please, Michelle, what kind of amateur kidnapper wouldn't take the car and the shoes with them? Damn, good point. We should get a hold of Jill. Maybe she knows something more. Uh, I already tried. She's locked out of everything. Her access has all been revoked, as she is no longer the First Lady. Excuse me, what? They can't do that, can they? Well, by the sounds of it, they already have. I don't think that's normal. Now you've got me worrying. Oh, I know. I have a bad feeling about this. All right, inserting the hard drive. Now we just gotta wait for the download to finish. Enemies approaching from all directions. Lockdown initiated. Protect the hard drive. Well, shit. It's looking like Silent Hill out there with the fog and a bunch of manglers are headed our way. Me and you, George, let's watch from up here. Teamwork makes the dream work. Guess that means you and I have bottom floor duty, Barack. Don't let them get through. If we're going to go down fighting hordes of manglers, I might as well go out with the realest person I know, myself. Damn, that line was cold as hell. Anyways, this side is done, onto the other side of the room. I will say, it's been pretty cool fighting alongside our Ultimus counterparts, even if one is a nerd. Wait, who are you calling Ultimus? How do you know we're not the Primus Presidential Zomboys? What's wrong with being Ultimus? Besides, think about it. We've gone on adventures collecting other versions of our souls, while you guys are much less serious. We've been through some shit, you know? Now hold on, we've been through our fair share of turmoil too. Like George said earlier, my copy of Smash Brothers got broken. And there was that one time we bought Starfield thinking it was gonna be great, but it ended up being mid. And we had to play Blood of the Dead once too. We have truly suffered. Wow, that's some real heartbreaking stuff right there. Now imagine having to live through blood of the dead and losing one of your best friends in the process. 
You had to survive real life, blood of the dead. Okay, Barry, I think we should let them be premise. Download complete. Retrieve the hard drive and return to me immediately. You heard her. Let's get out of here, boys. All right, Hillary, we've got your hard drive. Let's find out what memories you've lost. All right, Hillary, you've got your memories back. Give them the power core and let them pass. I, I remember everything, including the truth about you, Hussein. Not another word out of you, you ignorant robot. You have no right to... Connection terminated. What is he so afraid of us finding out? Allow me to share what I have remembered. He was once like you for a presidential zomboy. Man, this Modern Warfare 3 Zombies trailer sucks. Once again, Treyarch drops the ball. Uh-oh, bad news, guys. What is it, Joe? I thought I was pressing the ice cream button on my desk this whole time, when I was actually pressing the launch nukes button. Silly me. What? Joe, you Nimrod, call them off. Donald, didn't you pay attention to your briefs about the nuclear football? Once those nukes are in the air, there's no taking them down. Well, fuck. Guess we're gonna die. I'm sure Russia and China have already sent retaliatory strikes our way. At least the travesty that is MW3 zombies will never be released unto the world. Sorry, hope this doesn't inconvenience anyone's day. Joe, you have doomed the world to a nuclear apocalypse. Oh wait, the nukes are headed for the middle of the ocean. I forgot I had rerouted them just in case the Kraken ever emerged from the briny depths. We're saved. Joe, I'll launch another nuke right now right towards China and Russia. And hell, send one to California while you're at it. What? Donnie was right, MW3 zombies can never release to the world. Joe, I'm still your president. Do it now. You're the boss. <laughs> Due to Barack's selfish actions in manipulating President Biden, America and the world as a whole was plunged into a nuclear hellscape. Even through all of the death, the man who was most responsible lived while the world around him burned. Ashamed of what he had done, he forsook the name Barack Obama and began going by Hussein. He and Bill Clinton, who also survived the initial blasts, made their way to Russia, which was one of the last places on earth with any semblance of civilization left and in desperate need of a leader. They would share the role of president of the remaining world and led efforts to rebuild humanity. Part of these efforts was the construction of me. Bill led the project to great success, and once again, a glimmer of hope could be seen in the eyes of the people. With my superior intelligence, rebuilding society was possible. The people's admiration for Bill grew, and soon he was named the sole leader of the colony. Hussein had been demoted to vice president, and this infuriated him. For years, Hussein stood in Bill's shadow until he couldn't take it anymore, and in cold blood, he ended Bill's life. Shortly after, a portal opened from the sky and dragons, the undead, and other indescribable horrors began pouring into our world. Hussein has ruled with an iron fist, trying desperately to keep the situation under control, killing civilians in the process. And that brings us here. You four know the truth and you can stop him. God damn, all of this because he didn't like the trailer for Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. Don't worry, Hillary, it just so happens that we were going to kill Hussein anyways, for our own reasons. His death will not only avenge your bill, but save the multiverse. Thank you so much. For being such useful idiots. What the, Bill? That's right, Barry, old friend. You seem to have forgotten. I have control over electronics, and you delivered me straight to a supercomputer capable of so much destruction. <laughs> Damn it, this guy again. Why are you so hell-bent on these guys' destruction? Isn't there an intern somewhere that you should be banging? Quiet, fool. If you knew what these two and dumbass Donald and Joe have done to me, you'd understand. Oh, it couldn't have been that bad. The only thing we are guilty of is apparently not letting him be a presidential zomboy, even though he never asked. And zombies is four players anyways. Well, geez, maybe we should invite our Bill to play more so he doesn't end up like this freak. You left out a crucial detail, George, you little worthless pissant. You destroyed me and made me look like a fool to my master, got my wife killed, and had my soul expelled from my body. I have suffered long enough. You brought all of that upon yourself. Now what do you plan on doing? Are you gonna act or just run your cocksucker some more? While I would love nothing more than to destroy you right here and now, I have bigger fish to fry. I'll be taking this vessel elsewhere. Hopefully the next time we meet those other two idiots will be with you. Where the fuck do you think you're going? I have deposited the power core in front of you. Take it quickly. What the, you still have control? 
Leave me be, you wretched machine who dares to use my wife's name and voice. Thank you, Four, for your assistance, and if you ever get the chance, destroy this twisted echo of Bill. He makes a mockery of my creator's good name. I'll be seeing you again very soon, Barry and George. <laughs> That's it. Run away, you coward, just like Osama bin Laden. And don't come back. Just where is he going, though? I have a feeling Monty's perfect world is in serious jeopardy if Bill is left unchecked. But we have bigger things to worry about right now. We got the power core. We should help Hussein kill the dragon for the people of this universe. Then we confront him. George W. Bush, Dragon Slayer. It has a nice ring to it. All right, let's do it. But first, in case we don't make it, I love you guys. OK, we get it, Andrew Garfield. Let's just go kick some dragon ass. I second that. Let's go, boys. Great. Back into another stinky sewer. All right, Hussein, we got you your power core. So you have. Thank you. You four turned out to be more useful than I initially thought. Now all that's left is to take care of our little dragon problem. That's not all that's left. We want to have a little talk with you afterwards. A little heart to heart with myself, huh? Very well. Let's take out this beast first, though. Because here it comes. Holy shit, holy shit, holy shit. I knew this was coming, but damn, this thing is bigger than I thought. Don't get cold feet now. You're George W. Bush, Slayer of Dragons. Also, everyone remember to pull out your shields to protect you from the fire. Yeah, not sure how a shield protects you from literal flames, but I'm not complaining. Trust me, when you've been doing this for as long as we have, you stop questioning things. Enough of the chit chat. I will fire at the beast with my mech when it is stunned. Shoot the exposed wound. We know we're the presidential zomboys. We've taken out dragons before, albeit digitally. He's hit. Barack, let's me and you give it a taste of our rockets. You don't have to tell me twice. There we go, that hurt him. Whether it's the original or Mark III, the Ray Gun Boys are also gonna show this dragon true pain. The Mark III is definitely better, though. That's the only reason I let you get it from the box. You needed it, newbie. All right, one more good barrage of rockets and Ray Guns ought to finish it for good. Feel the pain of 1,000 Middle Eastern citizens drone striked. I think you meant to say drone struck, Barry? No time for grammar lessons, George. We just killed a fucking dragon. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Did it really need to explode into a million pieces, though? Fucking gross. The dragon is dead. The city is saved. Now let's talk. Let me guess. Hillary told you the truth? Damn right she did. She told us that you are the reason this world is in the state it is. You killed innocent people. Yeah, I mean, I don't like Bill Clinton that much, but killing him out of petty jealousy? I loathe that I share your face. That's rich coming from you. Every single one of you is a war criminal. You crushed people's lives in foreign countries on a daily basis. The only difference between us is that I handle things myself instead of ordering other people around. Being present requires you to make tough choices, but you, you created this apocalypse. You're not president of the United States anymore. You're a king of nothing. Damn, I'm over here just casually dropping the coldest line ever. You got my respect. And the real kicker is that this isn't even your universe. You unknowingly stepped foot through the multiverse and decided to make a mess of things. Are you sure you're not a Republican? And again, this is all because of Modern Warfare 3 zombies. Hold on, another universe? What the fuck are you talking about? You're the ones invading my home. You're insane, but I'm not surprised you aren't aware. However, the Cronorium doesn't lie, and it tells me all about the Barack Obama from another universe that has taken refuge in Stalingrad. I've heard enough from you. When I am finished today, only one Barack Obama will remain. Now say your prayers. Everyone, watch each other's backs. It's four against one, so we should be able to take him down. I mean, technically, it's two against one. Georgie, save the jokes until after we beat him. Aim for the yellow panels on his mech. He just sent out those annoying metal meatballs. Watch out. Thanks for the call out, Barry. Sent them to the scrapyard. It's bad enough having to deal with Hussein, but he's got the zombies on his side, too. I have two manglers trying to gangbang me right now. Just keep your pants on, George, and you'll be fine. None of you will leave this city alive, even you, George. I can't believe you used to be a presidential zomboy. None of us here would ever betray our friends the way you did. Surely his suit's got to be wearing down. It can't tank our packed rockets forever. I don't know, but I'm finally going to put one of these monkeys to good use. Suck my black holes. Hold on, pause. Let's finish this. Eat lead from the most iconic zombie's gun. No, this is impossible. Do you really think this is over? 
Look at you, man, you can barely stand. There's no point in fighting anymore. I have to fight. If I don't, the people of this city, look around you, the city is gone. Hillary is gone too. Because of you, this world is never going to recover. That can't be, I, I can fix things. Bring them all back and start over. I can be president again. Come on, man, you're living in a delusion. Besides, you don't deserve to be president again. Remember the oath of office we took? You betrayed it completely. It's time to stand down. You think you will kill me now? I am sorry, Barack. We do wish there was another way. This isn't just about your crimes here today. Your death was necessary from the start. I'm not sure if there's an afterlife or not, but maybe you'll be able to see Michelle again. Don't speak that name. You're just gonna block her from your memories too? Trust me, you can never forget Michelle Obama. Her smile, her kindness, her warmth. I can't wait for the day I see her again. But you're gonna have to accept the sickening fact that you were the one who took her from this world. Some things are forgotten. For a reason! Brock, no! Just kill him, quick. Oh my God, Brock, no! Are you okay? The man's been shot, of course he's not okay. Both of you, stop with the petty squabbles. Barry, you're alive, oh thank goodness. I grew up on the south side of Chicago. Gonna take more than a bullet to kill me. But damn if it doesn't hurt like hell. Huh, I grew up on the north side. Guess you and I have our differences too. But for real, you took that bullet for me. That was really cool of you. Thank you, Barack. Don't mention it. <coughs> Any chance you can get us a way out? Yeah, he needs a doctor. Monty can probably help, even though I don't think he's got a medical license. I'm not sure, but I know one thing. We can't keep you lying around on your back like Walter White in the finale of Breaking Bad. What do you propose? We're kind of just stranded here. Let me consult the Cronorium. Interesting. What's it say, Barack? It says here that the summoning key is intrinsically tied to three other items. The elemental shard, apothecon blood, and a vessel to hold them. It is always seeking out these items. How is that useful? Unless I have the blood of an elder god or something? As you know, the Cronorium's pages change. And according to it, since we got split up, the Donalds and Joes have somehow acquired the elemental shard. The summoning key can seek it out and create a portal for us to meet with our friends and hopefully Dr. Monty. That's great, let's get right on that. Let me just secure Hussein's soul in the summoning key, then I'll open the portal. There's the portal. Hold on, Barack, we're gonna get you some help. Let's go, guys. Donnie and Joe, we're coming. Yep, still not used to teleporting around like that. My wounds, they're healed. Maybe it was the magic of the summoning key. Thank goodness, glad you're okay, Barry. Guys, you're alive. Oh shit, Donnie and Joe, it worked. The summoning key found you guys. You will not believe what we've had to go through to get here. Yeah, same here. Let's catch each other up. Ha, 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 ha.